Good morning, and welcome to the Delaware EITC Day. Uh, I'm Reverend Clifford Johnson, the president of Nehemiah Gateway Community Development Corporation, and this is a most exciting day for Nehemiah Gateway, as far as I'm concerned, even the city of Wilmington. For the day marks, this, this tax season marks 15 years that Nehemiah Gateway has been consistently providing income for low-income working families. We're very proud of the fact that when we began this program in the year 2000, we provided this program for about 300 families. Last year, we provided this program for more than 12,000 families. And with assistance of our partners and our volunteers, we intend to even go beyond those numbers. I want to open by just saying that the EITC program is not a handout. It's a product that's for families uh, who worked hard to give them some assistance in their living to make life much easier for them. Uh, all of us know that uh, these economic time and things are not easy. Uh, but what EIT does is provide the means for people to care for themselves. In addition to a very uh, often people don't realize that not only do, do families realize, but even the city and state of Delaware realize income from the EITC program. The money that's spent, uh, the taxes that come in, all benefit the economic conditions of our state. If I'm correct, on the numbers, I believe that next year, more than $19 million came back to the state of Delaware uh, because of the EITC program. We are a viable program for the people and for the state. Uh, it's run by our very fine staff, by partners and volunteers, and without them, we could not do it. So I'm very excited about this day, very excited about Nehemiah Gateway, very excited about the fact that we are an organization that just has not been, but we still are, and will be in the future. So thank you for coming and for sharing this day, and tell the story everywhere. I want every person who qualifies to earn income tax credit to go to our sites and have the tax prepared and get their refund. It's yours. Don't buy into the okie doke or someone may convince you that's a handout or some other type of program. It's yours. You work for it. Uh, our government has provided for you as part of the tax returns. Come into all of our sites and have your tax prepared and receive this income tax return that you so rightly deserve. Rightfully deserve because you earned it. It's yours. Uh, thank God for the families who have been benefited by it. And all of us are near my gate with you. Thank you for coming. At this time, it's my pleasure to present to you our very fine partner in this program, Darius Brown from the 3rd District of the Wilmington City Council. Thank you, Reverend Johnson and Nehemiah Gateway and all those that are partners in our EITC campaign as we kick off this year. Uh, indeed, money does matter. Uh, and what we want to do today as we kick off here in Wilmington is convey the message to the residents of the city of Wilmington on behalf of our council president, Theo Gregory, and all of my colleagues on city council uh, that we're here to help working families. Uh, we talk about poverty in the city of Wilmington uh, because it's a real issue, a real concern that we have. And we understand that many of the individuals that are serviced by the EITC program uh, last year are individuals that made $15,000 or less annually. Uh, and so how we can implement the program and convey this message to the Wilmington community and get individuals in the doors of these sites uh, really helps residents in the city uh, be able to provide for themselves and their families. I also want to recognize uh, our guests that are with us from Congressman John Carney's office, uh, Mr. Albert Shields and Mr. Reed Scott. Thank you for being here from Congressman Carney's office. The reason why we highlight the partnership, uh, not only from nonprofits like Nehemiah Gateway, us locally and city council, but it's important that our Congress we have congressional support and there's no greater champion in our congressional delegation than Congressman John Carney for working families and the working poor of our state. So thank you so much for being here uh, representing his office. As we move forward today, uh, we want to make sure that the message that we convey has a living example. And I think there's no better person to uh, tell the story of how EITC has helped, encouraged, and changed uh, 
the very life and upward mobility for her and her family, then our next speaker, I'd like to introduce to you Ms. Deshawn Gardner. Good morning. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'd like to first thank you for giving me the opportunity. I'm going through a range of emotions and feelings because my career started right here in this very same room. But I've been going to uh, Nehemiah Gateway for the last four years. I am a part-time cashier at ShopRite. And to, uh, look, words cannot explain how income tax time allows me to pay my rent up for three months, to pay my phone bill up for three months, to get my daughter's uniforms for school, to put some away for Christmas and her birthday. So had it not been the service, eighth and walnut, how convenient. I take bus, but I can walk to eighth and walnut. And the people there are so welcoming. So, you know, they just encourage me and encourage me. So this is my way of giving back. I would be honored to come. I said, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late because I don't call off. I don't like being late. I don't make much at shop, right? But I show up because I serve a mighty God. And I know it, you know. So I'm just excited. I really am. So I just, um, you know, wanted to talk about how the services benefit me and my child and how I look forward. Because, you know, I get paid every week. And it doesn't take care of my rent. So I've learned how to manage and budget my money and prioritize. So I'm excited tax season because I can do something with the seven-year-old. You know, we're going to the movies. We're going to go to a couple plays because that's when I look forward to receive the benefits after I done put in the footwork all year long. So I just, I'm just grateful. So I will introduce our next speaker who I had the pleasure to sit and talk to. And his name is Mr. Glenn Rollins. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Glenn Rollins. I work for the IRS. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> but I, I have to say, I'm, I, it's my privilege and pleasure to be able to work with the folks at Nehemiah Gateway to, to run the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program here in Wilmington and throughout the state. And they're just great partners and one of the best in the country. And just want everybody to know that uh, this is not, as Reverend Johnson said, we've been doing that for 15 years and getting bigger and better all the time. And I'm just proud of you guys. It, it's, it's a privilege to work with you. Um, I am glad to be here today, uh, and for this is actually National EITC Awareness Day. Uh, this is the ninth year that we've had this. Um, it's a, just, again, a privilege to be here with our local partners and uh, just talk about what it is and, and how it benefits people. But, you know, when I say it's the ninth year, you might be wondering, well, why are we why are we still doing this? This is this has been going on for a long time. Doesn't, doesn't everybody know? And the fact of the matter is, no, not everybody knows. Um, it's estimated that every year about a third of the people that claim earned income tax credit are doing it for the first time. Their life situations change. People get get married. They get divorced. They they have children, and circumstances change. And all of these things factor into eligibility for and how much earned income tax credit you're able to receive. So it's a, it's a relatively simple thing to, to say, well, you know, you can get a bunch of money, but not everybody is eligible and not, and not everybody is really familiar enough with the rules to figure it out. And that's where our partners come in. And why we have these Awareness Day events is to, first of all, make everybody aware that, that, that it's out there. And secondly, encourage folks to stop by one of our sites at uh, Nehemiah and have this stuff figured out for you. It's, um, you know, again, it's for working folks, as Reverend Johnson so aptly put it, it it's earned income tax credit. It's not a, it's not a handout. It's, uh, there are requirements that, that have to be met, um, but it's not that difficult. It's mostly just um, 
based on your filing status and whether or not you have any qualifying children and things of that nature. If it, it can vary quite a bit. I mean, this year, if someone happens to hit the, I gotta get my notes out here, if somebody hits the maximum income and uh, or they're married filing jointly, have at least three qualifying children, this could be up to $6,143 worth of earned income tax credit available for them. That would be the maximum amount for three people married filing jointly. But you don't even need to have children. It's possible to get up to $496 even without children, just depending on where your income falls. So we continue to try to spread the word, let folks know that this, this is available, as was so aptly pointed out. Um, it can be a big difference for folks that, that receive this and make a difference in their lives. So we want everybody that is eligible to claim what is theirs, just as Reverend Johnson said. Uh, but again, it, I've kind of, it's a, sometimes difficult to figure out, okay? It's not, not impossible, but sometimes a little difficult, which is where our partners come in. Stop by the, the Vitasite locations in town and these folks will figure it out for you. And this, you may know or you may not know that at this time, the IRS is no longer providing tax preparation services at our local offices. So with that being a factor, it's even more important that we get the word out that, that we have our Vita sites available all across the city, all across the state. And that would be a great place for folks to go and make sure they get what's coming to them. Um, and yeah, the season is underway. Um, we, when did you guys start last? January 20th, okay, you were, you were there day one. That's when the IRS started accepting electronic returns. So the sites are open now, um, easy to find. You can go to irs.gov and search for free tax preparation. And there's some flyers right back here that will list the, the sites around here. So thank you very much. And I would like to, this time, to introduce John Moore. He's the Vice President of Resource Development with United Way of Delaware. Well, what a glorious time to be here today. And this is exciting. Everybody excited about this great time right now? Our mission at the United Way is to maximize the community's resources to improve the quality of life for all Delawareans. And we have this great credo that goes along with that. It says that underneath everything we are and underneath everything we do, we're all people connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. And we're proving that today with these great partners like Nehemiah Gateway and here at Goodwill. The name speaks for itself, Goodwill. And that's what this program is all about, being able to help people. You know, one of the critical areas United Way is involved in is health. And when I think about it from a health standpoint, I think about vitamin A for us. From a physical standpoint, vitamin A, it increases our vision and it strengthens our immune system. Now look at it from a fiscal standpoint, monetarily, of vitamin A is what we give out to those who come through EITC. That A stands for assets. And what that does is it increases a person's vision to see that there's hope in a, in a moment of their darkest financial times. And it also increases their immune system against the illnesses of poverty and the sicknesses of not having something to give to their children. And so we're excited about that. You know, as we think about EITC, I look at that acronym as I defined it last year as encouraging individuals to climb. Climb above the lowest rung of the economic ladder to economic justice. And when that takes place, they're able to chase after those great principles that we find in the Declaration of Independence that were really given to us by God, which means that we have the opportunity to go after life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And when we're able to get that through the funding that our individuals get through the EITC program, here's the response. You get individuals who's improving their outlook. That individual now is able to positively impact their family. That family goes on and impacts the entire community. The community reaches out to the entire county and the county impacts the city. The city impacts the state and the state impacts the nation. And what can we say about that from the perspective of Delaware? then not only will we be the first state, but the best state by being able to help our people. 
So as we reflect on that, I'm very proud of the work of what we're doing as partners to create a brighter tomorrow for so many people who have struggled in the past. And think about it from this perspective. We're all caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny, and whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. And when we positively impact one, we're impacting all. That's what it means to live united. And just very quickly, I want to talk about a program that we offer at the United Way. When people get all that money coming back and they're not sure what to do with it, it's a great program called Stand By Me, free financial coaching. And some of the um, outcomes we've had with that includes over 280 people increasing their credit score, 128 people decreasing their debt, and over 1,100 people coming up with a budget and a spending plan. So we have my free taxes here in Delaware, and one of the great things about my free taxes is that the state of Delaware for the last two years has been the number one state. So let us continue to work together and be able to make a positive outcome for those who are going after the EITC as they each continue to climb towards a positive tomorrow. Thank you so much.